Hey, come on in. Okay, we're a band from Stockport called Blossoms. Um, we're a five piece, uh, sort of like on the darker side of pop. Um, and we're gonna show around the bus. We're doing a tour of the States at the minute. We kicked off in Washington, DC. We went to New York, doors just opened. This is Lewis, he's our photographer. New York City, and here we are in Chicago. Ah, oh, hello. Hi, right, Chaz. How do you do? Just uh, sitting naturally, as I always do, when the bus is stationary. Um, a little bit more dangerous to do this when the bush is uh, bush. Good grief. <laughs> <laughs> when the bus is in motion, rather. Um, so yeah, and Miles also sat very comfortably. Right. Yeah. This is what is colloquially known as the front lounge, uh, if you're into bussing terms. This is where we have um, a fully functioning kitchen consisting of a two-slice toaster, a kettle that takes 15 to 20 minutes to boil, uh, an unsafe to use coffee machine. So, I mean, with being a British band, we of course drink a lot of tea. Uh, we don't have access to the usual tea, which is Yorkshire tea. People have opted for coffee. Um, well, we have we have instant we have instant coffee here. Um, I will not show you the brand for legal reasons. Um, or there is some throat comfort tea, but we won't go into that. Yeah. Uh, what else do we have in here today? For example, we watched um, Manchester City versus Liverpool. Because it was very tense, wasn't it? Because Charlie here is a Liverpool fan, and whereas Joe and, Joe and Tom are uh, Man City fans. So it was very so, heated, and they were sat on opposite sides and everything. And uh, there was a bit of a scrap, wasn't there? But you know, who won? I want that. Who won? Liverpool. All right. Congrats. Yes. Congratulations, mate. Thanks a lot. So yeah, we tend to just uh, you know we'll listen to some music on the old stereo there, um, sharing songs, sharing playlists and such. We've not shown you the. Uh, the cockpit, have we? This is where our driver Sam navigates from. And then the hat, the hat I was wearing earlier on was Sam's. I've not seen him wear it yet, but it's always hung here. I don't know whether he hangs it on the back of a door when he doesn't want people to enter or something like that, you know what I mean? Um, there's, a, there's a CB radio here for those fans of uh, Smokey and the Bandit. It's all you need to, uh, you know, get yourself across the States. Driver of the year, Sam Fearman, 2015. Pretty impressive. So there's a bit of trash. This is products as well. What's in here? Uh, plastic cutlery. Um, Great for the environment. Really good for the environment. Uh, single use because you know you don't want to be you don't want to be like reusing things. That's just who would want to do that. Just kidding. Please reuse things. It's a lot better for the earth. Um, these were had you come on earlier. These were loaded full of shoes, underwear, um, flared trousers. All kinds of contraband and lots uh, of contraband mm. uh, consisting of uh, pretzel pieces, pretzel pieces, uh, Walmart goods, uh, few of them, donut actually. innards. Yeah, yeah. So donut. We we discovered that donut holes. These are shit. Yeah, these are really really bad. Um, I ate one and I've I've not slept since. I've not I've not felt the same since. Uh, so Did be you? careful what you get from Walmart. Um, amazing place. Though. I've been for the first time. We had a night out in Walmart. We, we, had a, day, we, yeah, we took yeah. a night out in Walmart and it was incredible. Had like a few beers and just went to more, just had a walk around, didn't we? Yeah, it's, the place was vast. Quite bigger, it's bigger than Stockport, wasn't it? What, Walmart? Yeah, Walmart was, it was bigger than Stockport, so it was bigger than the town. The borough? We, yeah, bigger than the borough. Um, moving, moving swiftly on. The uh, Lucians. Yeah. And if you need the John for a uh, number, number do, numero dos, um, this isn't the place. No. You'll have to stop it like a Denny's or something like that. <laughs> but it will... Uh, and do you know what American microwaves have, which English microwaves also have, but <laughs> I've only just noticed on here <laughs> a pizza mode for the microwave. So we got pizza the other night. Yeah, what it in the pizzas we've noticed because we're small Englishmen. But the, the the pizzas are very big here, and so we can't finish them. So we always have to reheat them, which is here's an example of how it would work. So yeah, if you want pizza. Yeah. Also, so this this I find this fascinating. No, this is this is actually really clever. This because when you're so, on a, another, you know, buses usually they fly open. It's all fucking. The refrigerator oh flies open. Yeah. Everything comes out, but you know these little things. Here. This is genius. You know, E equals M C squared. Leather in it. What's in here anyway? Cheers. This we don't. I've not really been keeping goods in here, but if you, if you do want a fresh vegetable carousel, you see that? <laughs> then um, that's the rider that just goes off in the fridge. That in it. Yeah. Or. <laughs> Perhaps you would like 
another one. Oh, it's another one, yeah. This is where the driver sleeps. <laughs> this is also uh, doubles up as our wardrobe. Yeah, he's kipping. Um, this is the this is the entire stage wardrobe for the five of us. You know, so uh, yeah. Let's give that one a Tom, Joe. Yeah. Come join us, please. How's it going? We've stayed on a lot of tour buses over the last few years, and I just thought I just ended up in that one. So it's more of like an OCD thing. I just want to be in that bunk. I've never, I've never slept on the bottom. The I've top, never slept on the top. The top ones are a bit rocky, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. Some people always have. Like Miles likes to sleep. Um, where it's least rocky, and that's usually in the middle. He either sleeps at the bottom or the middle. But yeah, Miles some... has like earplugs, Miles sleeps with earplugs in. It's been a while though. Because he gets ra you get some rattly noises, that can be annoying. I, my, yeah, the light doesn't work in there, but I've actually taped up my aircon vent. Uh. There you go, taped it up because it was very noisy and quite annoying. But I don't know, it's one of them, we're kind of just so used to it now that... Doesn't, it doesn't that. feel weird to be on it, does it? I hate it. I hate sleeping on the tour bus. You're Love the, the tour bus bed? itself. Yeah, I hate sleeping on like tour buses. Tour buses. I get really bad shoulders from gigging all the time, like trying to turn over in between the night and stuff. It's quite. Uh, I lo I think it's the really cozy. <coughs> yeah, like the, it, I yeah. like the bunk. Somewhat I'm also a dead up it. person, so as soon as that curtain's closed, mm. I get too hot. True. It's like sweltering, sweating, waking up all the time. Here. You got the star lounge this time. So this you? is why I've gone. I've upgraded. So turn my big light on. Yeah. So this is my bunk. We had to offer it Tom first. Yeah, they offered it me, as I am the singer. But I don't like. I didn't like the idea of having because everyone's bags has been kept in here, you know, because there's not much space on the bus. So I didn't like the idea of everyone kind of living out of my bed space. So I prefer to just have my own little thing. But you didn't mind, did you? No. If it meant I could sleep properly, because I always wake up in the night and I have to like sort of click my shoulders or like do some sort of weird movement. And also, it's just meant to have a double bed. <laughs> try to go everywhere. Yeah. It's never really. This is more. Miles was doing some mixing. This is a lot more Lewis, chilled in here, I think. Yeah, Lewis is doing his like editing photography photos. It's a bit more. I think if we were on it longer, we would have watched mm -hmm. films in here. Yeah. We've only been on it for a few days, so we haven't got into that stage where you kind of need to watch movies. You know, we've been in cities, we've been going out exploring. Everyone's it's when you're on like a four, week, three or four week tour, and you just eventually like, oh, let's just watch a film. I can't be asked going out. Just we sure. did some recording at home that needed mixing on the tour, so my husband sat here doing it. That's been his little setup. It seems to be a bit of a place where everyone comes to sort of on the laptops. You know, it's like a bit more personal. The other one's a bit more social. I think. I think this is a yeah. bit more personal. Do you know what I mean? A bit more. You can sit in here and not speak to each other. Yeah. I've got my stage gear in here, as you can see. So this is like what I wear tonight. I don't mind in there as well. Like Joe's. Yours is no. Yeah, so. yours is down there. That's right. Gonna say. Oh shit. But yeah, this is good because. Sometimes you only get one hanging space in the whole bus and when there's like 16 of you it can become tricky. It's a very well designed bus, there's a lot of little pockets to keep things. Yeah, nice one for checking out our tour bus. Yeah. Um, head over to the all the old faithfuls of Instagram, Twitter and you can find tour dates and uh, yeah, you can find our new album Foolish Loving Spaces, mm -hmm. you can pre-order that. So um, yeah, new music on the horizon every year <laughs> yeah forever <laughs>